Here we got a 69 Mustang. 69 Mustang and 70 are my favorite years, probably everybody else's still. Nice turquoise. And the classic five spoke wheels. Those are nice wheels, man. Boyd Connington figures. Expensive. Air conditioning. Probably has the R134 conversion stuff in it. You get your little sight glass, you can look at your air conditioning charge and all that wonderful shit. And, of course, convertible. <laughs> Original steering wheel, none of that aftermarket bullshit. I hate when they change the steering wheels on this shit. You know, it used to be cool way back when. In the 60s and 70s to change the wheel from the original to put the little one. I, but now it's like better off keeping the original shit, man. It looks a way lot better. I mean, I really used to put the 10-inch wheel on there and shit because I can make fast turns with it. Actually, my 69 Roadrunner, I had to change all four tires every freaking year. I freaking burn out the back ones from burnouts and I wear out the front ones from turns. All four every freaking year. <laughs> no bullshit. Every year, brand new, four new tires. Now look at the glass on this. This is not glass. It's plastic, but it's in very nice installation. Very flat. I remember I changed the plastic on the 62 uh, freaking Impala SS. I didn't get it like that. No way. But I was just learning. I'm still learning, man. I don't do this shit for a living. I just kind of do it once in a while. I'd rather do the shit myself, even if it doesn't come out like a pro, man. I don't care. Nice. I always like the blue collar, though. I'm not a red car guy. I am a blue car guy. <laughs> it's got the big clock in the uh, Glocka box. The Mustang. The blue and the white and the black is a nice color combination. Very nice. And you know, this little mirror thing on here is smart too. So you can see what the hell's going on. People sneaking up on you. But back when I was into this shit, I was like, you know, working with the guy that was like doing a collision work on these things. <laughs> it wasn't restoration work, it was collision work. People freaking smashing them up and stuff. <laughs> It, was, it wasn't restoration at all, man. It was just like, yeah, the half the body's got to, like on a vet, you'd have to join half the body with the other, to put a front clip on it or some shit. The whole front clip would be gone. You know, a vet, when you get a, an accident with a vet, the whole car's gone, you know? So, <laughs> so I don't know shit about it. I've, I've had some, I've had a lot of actually hands-on experience with these cars. But it was not like restoration work, it was collision work, because that's how long ago it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny, man. Well, if I keep taking vitamin C, I'll be around, I'll be reverse aging with that 30,000 milligrams of vitamin C I take every day, plus all that vitamin D and all that other shit. I'll be around 200 years from now. Uh, you know, look, I'll be the only guy alive that was here at the time and seen these cars. 